next one is a 2000. Let's go. All right, so someone asked me, what do you do against the Trompowski? Um, you can always play g6 and accept it, give me the pair of bishops. Or you could play d5. Now, do I remember how to play this? I don't. Let me play g6. <laughs> All right, all right. Okay, f5 makes sense. I'm opening up the bishop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why. That is why I start with g6. Like, if I play here g6, bishop g5, I don't really care. Bishop g7, by the time I play knight f6, I have the bishop already here. All right, c4 was played. Rook e1. Rook on the open file, semi-open file. <laughs> Just trying to look for that square. Hey, they have their thing, they have their thing. Welcome aboard, welcome aboard. All right, um, we continue with our plan. The knight knows where it's going. Uh, anytime control you like. I'm giving the option to make it rapid because I know some of you like it better. Does this make any sense? Does this make any sense? Well, let's put the knight in the center. All right, we fixed our pawn structure. We get the pearl bishops. I like this. Now we just gotta prove that it's uh, that it's better. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, what's up? Now, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? All right, develop our pieces, nothing more. I welcome d5 because it opens up the diagonal. Yeah, they couldn't care less about that. <laughs> Where are you going, huh? Let me just bring the queen over to the king side. Just improving my pieces little by little. Yeah, I had a feeling you played that. Take or close, or leave it up to them. Hmm. Yeah, D takes E5, I don't like it, nice E5. I think when I go with the closing of the... Yeah, let's close it. I don't want to open anything up on the queen side. If you remember what we've talked about, they should be playing there. They have more space on the queen side. We should be playing on the other side. So keeping it locked on the queen side is going to make it much easier for, for me. Right, so they have to be consistent with that and we gotta be consistent with this let's try to make contact before they could make contact on the queen side
What do you mean? He's right here in the chat. Roberto, say hi, please. Roberto, say hi. Um, yeah, definitely. Okay, so that's that's what the course is about. That's the course. That's the course. All right. Do we take and everything? It can keep opening things up. I mean, I gotta take. <laughs> hi. <laughs> All right, so this is already what I wanted. We created a weakness already, and now we just need to put pressure on it. Can we? We'll see. But at least that the action is now on the king side. If you split the board in half, I got four pieces on the king side. Um, one, two, three, four. They got only two pieces on the king side, and there's a weakness for us to target. No, I think it all comes to. All right. Um... Mm, 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 mm. These are my candidate moves. I also like Bishop F5. Mm hmm. 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 I don't think I can go wrong with this. Rook of Fate is very interesting, but. <laughs> Sounds like a fun club. But, Roberto, you love classical, but. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> okay, what was that? Queen D2? Twenty-two action. Pa, pa, pa. Mm -hmm. How wrong is this? How wrong is that? So I got bishop f bishop h3, bishop f5, and rook f8. Those are my candidate moves. Queen e7 is also in the air. Let's give it a try. Yeah, you're right. That's why I wanted to play it. But anyways, I'm really thinking of playing Rook of Eight, getting rid of the Rooks. The less pieces we have, the less pieces they have to defend E3. But also, I don't want the King to go to F2. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. Now I go, I do this with a Temple, I want to say. For all I know, my Bishop is more active than it was before. And this one is more passive than it was before. So in my book, <laughs> in my book, that's an accomplishment. Now, this is a 10-minute... No increment, okay. Okay, then this is a little bit easier now, I believe. Yeah, I believe, because now without the rook being able to go to f1, this gets very interesting. Rook f8 is next. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point, and it's a different game. It's just a different game. The clock is more and more important, but, you know, try to at least once one day a week try to get some Blitz games. Bullet, I never. Blitz, get some, because you need to get that experience. The way to get better at it is by playing more Blitz, and and you have to do it. If you don't like it, don't do it every day, but at least once a, day, once a week, have a day where you get exposure to it. Uh-huh. So we take... So this guy, they have one less piece on the king side. We gotta create something. We gotta have something. Now, what is it gonna be? I wish I knew. 
wait, wait, wait. Queen D2, fine. Let's see if my theory is right. The less pieces they have, the harder it will be to defend the weak pawns. Mm -hmm. Do I want to keep putting pressure? G5, G4. Or take, take. Yeah, now this is... I, I went with that line because queen f3 is winning now. If they take with... If they go queen f2, we block. If they take with the queen, bishop e3. Actually, queen d1 and we take the knight. If they take with the king, then queen f3 and then bishop e3. And notice how the whole game was about the e3 pawn. Hmm. Is, is this a beautiful mate if they go to h3? So if they go to g1, this is it. If they go to h3, queen f1, check. If you block, queen f5, check. Right? No, that's not a beautiful mate. So don't get fancy and just, <laughs> just go for the pawn. <laughs> All right, so that's probably the best option. Yeah, this is already a protected pass pawn and Move number 31, the pawn fell. Again, there you go. There you go. All right. Bishop f2. I'm hitting you, my friend. Queen f1, e3. We cannot go wrong with that. I mean, I could go wrong with that. I can see myself going wrong with that, but. If you're a beginner, beginner, definitely playing games is the way to go. Play, 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 play. All right. Um, take the knight. You have to check. Got it. I got it. Okay. Uh, maybe we should be three. We go back to the same thing. That's not what we want. Cha, cha, cha. I almost made a mistake. I wanted to go check king g2, queen e2, but this is annoying. All right, let's go with e3. My main objective now is to not give them any counterplay. No counterplay at all. <laughs> yeah, 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 but we got to be careful. We got to be careful. We got to be careful. If we have the time, we use it, and we use it wisely. That's your way of saying you don't care. What are you gonna do now? I don't care what you say, this is a queen. Even if you take these pawns all at once, there's nothing you could do. The only check I see doesn't help. Uh oh, there's another check. <laughs> but it doesn't help, okay. Was why I don't think they were better at any point, but let's let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That had to be played. Yes, that's that's the last. Oh man, Roberto, I think we're gonna under promote and then check with the knight. 
Oh man, that's beautiful actually. Roberto is a genius. <laughs> I had to go check. Wait, wait, do I have mate? Check. Check. <gasps> is that a mate? This is how I lose the games. Cha, cha, cha. I could get the queen easily. Wait, wait, let me think. I could just do this and get the queen. Think. Queen d3. King g... No, no, you cannot go to g2 and the knight is there. Brrr. You take the bishop. Ah, uh, no, no, but if I go to f3, you take the knight. <laughs> so easy to mess these things up. All right, let me keep it simple. Let me leave that for the geniuses. Okay, how about now? Come on, come on. Is this mate? Where's bishop f1? Yeah. Oof. Queen d2. I think this was definitely, yeah, that was definitely a mistake. The moment, look, we put pressure. I went, quiet game, my opponent is happy. Slightly better for black. I go queen h4 with no specific plan in mind, no threats, no nothing. But then they start to get concerned. I close the center. I don't want him to have anything on the queen side. So we're still a little bit better now, 0.6. a4, and we make contact. That's already one point. And then it's not that we have anything, but they feel the pressure. And it's always, I always say it, much easier to be the one putting pressure than the one defending. Now take, take, yeah, e3 becomes a target. Um, queen d2. Yeah, bishop h3, not so happy. Apparently, bringing the queen back, hitting the rook was better. Bishop g4, queen h5. Mm -hmm. Look at this, bishop f3, not even the way to go. Just bishop g5, what are you talking about, computer? No, yeah, it seems like they were never better. And then rook f1 is already trouble. Taking with the king, that's already 453. They two have just taken. As kind of intuitive as it seems. Hey, but well, what if I just take now? Rook g2. You gotta. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Can I just do this? What's wrong with this? And give me the knight. Yeah, still good, still good. 